Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Meal planning can be a great way to save money, time, and eat healthy meals. When starting meal planning, it can be often daunting, but meal planning digitally can be easier and a great way to store all of your data. We'll leave the link below to our meal planning and recipe book Notion template. Stay until the end if you're new to Notion or need a tutorial on how to download this template. When you first download our template, you'll notice that it is divided into three sections, recipe book, meal planning calendar, and what's in my fridge. What is unique about this template is that the three sections work together so that you can seamlessly add your recipes as dishes into your weekly meal planning and check what ingredients are available. The recipe book section of the template is a place where you can see all of the recipes that you've added in one place. You can easily find different meals that you're looking for using the filter tabs like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. You can also search for each recipe by ingredient if you add an ingredient tag. Click filter and choose your ingredient tag to look for recipes in this method. Each recipe will open up with detailed information that includes how to prepare it, what kind of meal it is, and more. When you want to add a recipe, click plus new in the view all tab of the recipe book. Then make sure to add a cover photo, title, rating, meal, type, ingredients, servings, instructions, calories, and ingredient tags for easy searching. For more categories in either the meal or type section, you can easily create them as well. If you want the ingredients to work seamlessly with the meal planning section, make sure that your ingredients are added with dashes. Make sure to use shift enter on the keyboard when adding each ingredient to keep the formatting for later. This helps with copy pasting into your shopping list. For example, an ingredients list for avocado toast would look like this. On the same page, import the sub template called new recipe below. This sub template will allow you to store relevant links relating to the recipe. If you want an alternative way to add recipes, you can use Notion's Web Clipper. Make sure you have Web Clipper installed in your browser. We'll leave the link to our Notion Web Clipper tutorial below. You can look for the database for your recipes and add them directly there. You'll have to add the other relevant information later after they're imported to your Notion page. This section shows what items are currently available in your pantry or fridge. To add a new fridge or pantry item, click plus new. You can add the name, status, link if ordering online, type tag, and connect to recipes if needed. You can also connect ingredients to the recipe book section. The next part of this template is the meal planning calendar. This section helps to plan for the week. At first glance, you'll see name, start, and end date, budget, actual cost, and a place to add your receipt copy. This will help you track your spending with meal planning and see which weeks work better than others. To add a new week, click plus new in the meal planning calendar. Name the week and add the start date, end date, and budget. Click open to open up the week. Import the sub template inside called new meal planning to get started. Adding meals to your week. Inside the week, go to item view from the food planning section. To add a new dish, click plus new and name the dish. Connect it with the right recipe, which are the recipes that come from the recipe book. This is important so all the recipe information is directly shown in your meal planning. Allocate it to one or more days in the week by selecting day choices and day. Choose the meal tag, ingredients, and serving information will be automatically pulled up from the selected recipe. Once you're done, you can go to week view to have a clear view of your week planning. This is included so that you can easily see what is currently available while making your shopping list. If you need, you can also add your ingredients that you need to through this area by clicking New. Once you're done planning your week, you can make a shopping list to get all the items you need for the week. This is easy to do by copying the entire column of ingredients in the item view. Paste it into the shopping list section. Remove any unwanted ingredients or ingredients you already have by checking what's in my fridge. Once you make your list, you can convert them to to-do boxes so that you can use it as a shopping list. The last section is for you to write any notes down. This can include information like your reflection after planning the week. You can ask yourself what worked and what didn't work. It can also be a great place to note any outside meals you had or anything else you can think of related to your week of meal planning. To get started with using this recipe book and meal planning Notion template, you'll need a Notion account and download from our website through Gumroad. We'll provide the links below. 
Click the Gumroad button and fill in the information. Once it's filled in, you'll get redirected to the template. Click the Duplicate button. You'll need to either log into your Notion account or it may redirect you automatically. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about how to use our recipe book and meal planning Notion template. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.